left, we have another sniper who speaks and says, this was planned. Many snipers and many shooters, uh, people have experience in this type of work have been coming out, sharing their insight about this shooting that occurred at the Trump rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. This is the shooter right here. But I want to share this clip right here of this sniper who speaks. Check it out. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm here to tell you why the shooting of President Donald Trump yesterday, without a doubt in my mind, was a planned and coordinated attack on the president inside our government, our local agency or police force. Here's why. My name is Matthew Murphy, and I am a retired Green Beret, retired from the Special Forces Group, but I'm also a level one sniper, which means that I have graduated the, the highest level of training for snipers that you can do in special operations. We're trained, I'm going to avoid uh, confidential or classified terminology, we're trained in assassinations and counter assassinations for the very reason, uh, uh, case in point, yesterday, the shooting of President Donald Trump. So. First of all, uh, anywhere the president's going to go, there are teams from the Secret Service that go out days, if not weeks, if not months before the president will ever be at that spot. And they do a site security assessment. And they do that with the local uh, police forces and agencies to ensure that every potential security threat or vulnerability is secured and, of course, protected against. Now, this is done way before Donald Trump will ever get there, and they know every place that the president will be, and the sniper team especially is responsible for ensuring that no one can take a shot at the president. Now, that does not mean that the sniper team just sets up with their guns and scans the crowd and shoots. No, what they do, the most important thing they do, pre-Donald Trump showing up, is within a 360 degree environment of that podium of the president, they ensure that there is not a place that is open that will be accessible by someone with a rifle to take a shot at the president. So they make sure those places are barricaded off, unaccessible and heavily guarded. So there is no way you are gonna get to the place where you can even shoot the president with a rifle before the president shows up. Then they scan the crowd and those places of the rifle just in case by some miracle you do. Now you're not gonna tell me, I don't care who you are, don't listen to the media, it's nonsense anyways, I think most of us know that by now, that some 20 year old kid that looks like he played Dungeon and Dragons in his mom's basement is trained on a gun, especially a sniper rifle like that, is a registered Republican, and then can access anywhere near the vicinity of that crowd, of that event, with him not dressed in a uniform and that sniper rifle. He was wearing American flag t-shirt and pants, and he had a rifle. You're going to tell me that that kid went through all the levels of security, somehow got into the closest building to the president, then accessed the rooftop of the closest building to the president, then had the time to unpack his rifle, lay down in the prone, and then take five to eight well-aimed shots at the president before he was decisively engaged by the Secret Service's counter sniper teams or a local police department. I don't know who they were, most likely police. You're gonna tell me all that happened and a 20-year-old kid did that without it being... That seems crazy as hell, especially hearing it like that. All right, come on. By the way, y'all, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button too. But that does seem awfully strange. What do y'all think? Let me know. Heavily planned, coordinated, and people on the inside making it happen. There's absolutely no way possible that that kid was able to get up there and take those shots at the president without a lot of internal help. So someone in that local or, or some people inside that local police department agency or secret service is compromised and is a threat to our president. So we need to stop worrying about that damn shooter and start worrying about who allowed this shit to happen. And President Trump, if you need an American to protect you who's actually good at sniping and stopping this crap, give me a call. I'll do it for free. Bam, there you go. Everybody have a good day. That is a good point, though. Remember, who was it that said that? Don't ask who fired the shot. Ask why the shot was fired. Okay, God bless. Was it planned? A lot of people have a lot of questions about 
this guy right here, 20 year old Thomas Matthew Crooks. Who is this guy? Where did he come from? Why did he travel an hour to north from his home? He lives in Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, travel an hour and climb up on a building to commit this terrible act. And uh, his intention was to assassinate the president of the United States. Why did he do it? We are analyzing. We have a lot of questions. We want to know. And a lot of people out there are asking and raising their eyebrows. Like what in the world happened here? And think it's fishy or think something is going on. We're not getting told the truth. No one knows. Oh, it's going to take like. 50 years, 75 years to declassify everything to where anybody has any idea what happened. What to think. It's kind of shocking, folks. And I can tell you, looking into this matter, it doesn't make sense. Kind of shocking. That's an understatement of the century. It's to me. This doesn't make sense at all about this guy's 20-year-old kid, fresh out of high school, was bullied in school. Uh, just a little guy, you know, how was this guy capable of doing this much damage? Something is not right. Secret service failures, perimeters not being looked at. He was able to get on a building. It's just strange set of circumstances. That supposedly police were staging inside of. Circumstances, but we're looking into this matter. I want to know what you think in the comments. No stone left unturned. We are peeling the on onion. On this particular case, I am JLR Investigates. We will continue to look in this matter and hear what everyone else says. And I will share it with all of you. Stay tuned.